Yo, Chuck. Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a compose function, which is just a function that returns the result of another function. So it's kind of like chaining functions. So let me just give you an example. I've got an array here called hobbies, and I've got these two functions. One's called only beer, which is going to filter for elements that equal beer, and then another uh, function called capitalize first letter, which will capitalize the first letter of every element in the array. So just to show you to make sure that these functions work, let's pass in hobbies to only beer. You can see it returns beer, 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 beer. And then now if I do the same with capitalize first letter, as you might expect, it's going to capitalize the first letter of every element. So what a compose function does is it has one function return its result, and then it uses that result to pass as an argument in another function. So I could easily just say only beer and then call capitalized first letter, and I'm using only beer and hobbies as my argument of the capitalized first letter function. So if I do that, you can see I'm getting beer, beer, beer with capitalized first letters. So to make a compose function, you can just do const compose. It's going to take two functions. So function one and function two is the parameters. It's going to return some value or really just it's returning another function. So I need to say return function. And then inside of that function, I'm going to pass some value. And in here, I'm going to return func1, and then I'll call func2 with the value I pass in up here. And I'm using this as an argument in function1. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to say capitalize first letter. I want that to be my first function. And then only beer will be my second function. And notice when I call this the first time, I just want to show you something. It is pretty much, it's just showing me this function right here. And it's like, what you need to like pass a value. So to pass a value here, I need to use another uh, parens and then pass in my hobbies. And now it'll work. Okay. So that's one way to write it is you can actually use ES 2015 syntax and make it a little bit cleaner. Let me show you how. You could say const compose, same idea, func1, func2. You're returning a value, and we'll say x, and that's going to return a value of func1 with func2 and x inside as the argument. This is the same thing, but it's obviously much cleaner. So I think the main confusing thing for me when learning to make the compose function was that it returns a value right here. And then from that value, you want to return another value because it kind of like sets you up. So the X right here is actually this call I'm making um, for the, this anonymous function. Cause that's what this is, is just an anonymous function. And I'm passing in hobbies because remember if I don't do this and it was just to call these first two functions, it kind of prompts me for like, hey, you need to like do something. You need to execute another function here. So if I do that and then I pass in hobbies, then it'll work. So that was just a quick video on how to make a compose function. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.